All right, so it looks like we got uh, Raffle versus DD for the next matchup. Uh, DD, a puff player, plays out in 805. Uh, he's famous for having a timed out army in a couple sets. A uh, pretty interesting option. Raffle is a really, really strong Luigi. Used to be uh, ranked in SoCal. Uh, had to take about a six month break uh, recently, maybe even a little longer. Uh, so he's back now and he's starting to get back in the game, but uh, the, the time away definitely, he felt the impact, and so he's still coming back to his former self. Let's see what he can do against Didi here. Uh, Luigi, one of the few characters that can actually get some pretty good combos on Puff, uh, so it's kind of interesting to watch that happen. But of course, Puff, uh, Didi showing off very early <laughs> what the wall of bears can do to Luigi. Uh, Luigi's able to trade and get the uh, stage spike, pushing Lu Jigglypuff way down, but uh, Didi's able to make his way back using all his jumps. Uh, Raffle so far looking for these up smashes. Uh, Didi only at 75%, but uh, probably already in kill range if uh, Raffle can get a big hit like that up smash off. Uh, Raffle so far really doing a good job of controlling center stage. DD DIing well to stay alive. Uh, finally able to find his way back towards the center. Um, and with that, he's able to get that back air and take the first stock of the game. He is at 117%. Pretty much any of Luigi's attacks are going to kill him pretty quick here. So he's going to have to play super careful and try to rack up the damage before he goes. Raffle's able to find a down smash with a crouch cancel, and that's going to be the first stock right back. Uh, Raffle, like most Luigi's, really likes to do those uh, short hop double aerials. Uh, you get to throw out a strong hitbox like a dare or a bear or something, uh, and then follow it up with a nair. If they try to punish, they just eat the nair. Uh, it's technically not frame tight, but uh, it's really, really hard to punish effectively. So you'll see a lot of Luigi's really abuse that. Uh, here's the bear wall again. Raffle's able to go way out, uh, DI way out, and survive, but DD still got center stage and not letting him back to the center. Uh, DD reading Raffle's movement pretty effectively. Looks really tough for Raffle getting back. Oh, but the Luigi missile is able to hit Jigglypuff, and Raffle's able to regain neutral. Uh, Raffle seems to uh, really not be challenging any hits on his shield. Uh, seems like as soon as the his shield gets touched, he's looking to roll or wave dash out. Uh, doesn't want to try to punish with a quick short hop aerial or anything. Raffle using his incredible uh, wave dash distances in order to really keep uh, Didi on his toes, but Didi's able to find a back air and take that second stock. Raffle with a bit of a percent lead. Looking for more of those uh, fireballs, which I think is an interesting option. He's putting them at that kind of low height where Puff wants to be floating. Um, sort of like how a Falco will do high lasers when Puff's trying to float in that range. Uh, really an interesting option, and it makes Puff have to decide between staying grounded, which he doesn't want to do against Luigi's crazy wave dash, or having to go up higher, where Luigi has more time to react to her approaches. Raffle is still in crouch cancel percent right now. Uh, he might be out of it with that last hit, but he's trying to abuse that a lot, looking for those crouch cancel down smashes, especially once he gets Puff up to higher percents. Ooh, Raffle looking to down B back onto stage. Uh, that can be a really smart option because you can get so much movement and that last hit's pretty strong. But this time he misses, uh, does it just a little too early, and ends up bouncing off the stage and uh, SDing. So it's at one stock a piece, both uh, low percents. Let's see uh, who's able to clean it up and finish this game. Oh, Raffle gets the jab up B, gets a strong hit of it, and that's going to take the first game. Uh, super low percent, but I guess that's what you get when you play a uh, floaty character like Puff. All right, game two, we go straight to Fountain Dreams. Uh, DD definitely looking for that larger uh, blast zone. Doesn't want to die to Luigi's attacks for a really long time. He was already doing a really good job uh, last game of not dying to the side uh, with just good DI and then bringing it back slowly, uh, making Raffle really get every single hit in order to get the kill. But Raffle did a good job of coming back at that with getting a lot of kills off the top. So this time with a higher ceiling, we'll see if Puff's able to live a bit longer. Ooh, nice wave dash back grab, but Raffle's not able to find the drop zone fair to finish off the stock. 
Raffle feeling a little bit cornered. He's able to wave dash to center, but he gets punished with a Nair up smash. Oh, Jigglypuff reads his movement, able to get that F smash, take the first stock with that 69%. Jigglypuff throwing out a bunch of bears, super safe, really hard for her to deal with. Um, but Raffle looking to get those uh, two hit. Uh, ooh, Raffle able to cut off the combo with a Nair. Uh, one of the Luigi classics is to go for that. Uh, you think you can combo Luigi, but he just gets that Nair out so early. Uh, you end up eating eating that instead. And with Puff at 70%, that's enough to kill. Especially up high like that. Puff gets a grab. Luigi's at pretty high percent. He's going to have to really work to make this stock up. Puff choosing to back throw once again. Looks like all she need, all, all DD feels he needs is to get uh, Luigi off stage. And then he can just hold center, hold that edge forever. Uh, rack up the damage until finally a hit kills him. Not really looking for those like quick kills that you sometimes expect out of Puffs. Ooh, the back air into a rest. I think Raffle might have had time to nair out of that, but he wasn't able to do so. Uh, Raffle going for a bit of BM and deciding he's done with this stage. Let's go to the next one. So at 1-1, one, one, let's see where Raffle wants to go for game three. I suspect it'll be a stage with a small ceiling, uh, perhaps Pokemon, maybe Yoshi's. Uh, I think actually, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he does want Pokemon. He wants that room on the stage so he can waved us around, take uh, advantage of his really high grounded speed, uh, but he also wants that small blast zone so that he can kill Puff earlier. Let's see if it works out for him or if dd has got a bit of a read on his actions. Ooh, DD starting off with his bear wall again. Raffle needs to be able to D out really far early on in order to survive that. He gets an up smash. Uh, Jigglypuff only at 60% even after the hit, but almost dying already. DD reads a roll in, able to get a fair, locking Luigi on the ledge. Luigi finds his way back, gets another wave dash up smash. DD surviving with some strong DI. Ooh, uh, Raffle goes in for a fair, but he just barely gets outspaced by the bear from Jigglypuff, and he's not able to take the stock. Super even so far this game. Uh, Raffle's really going to need to find a way to find those uh, stray aerials in order to get the get those early kills. He can't let Puff live for a long time. He gets a bear, but it's not enough. She's going to be making it back. Raffle looking for a lot of these like drop zone aerial plays. Uh, it's a pretty interesting option, but so far he hasn't been able to find any. Uh, he is able to find that wave dash up smash in order to take the first stock. Looks like that's going to be uh, one of the main kill setups he's looking for throughout this game. I honestly have no idea how that side B didn't or that down B didn't hit Puff before the bear hit Luigi, but there you go. Luigi, Puff goes for a dash attack. Luigi's able to shield it and then get a grab, but he's not able to find much off it. Uh, Raffle seems content to hang out in the cave until this uh, transformation ends. Uh, just as I say that, he heads back out. Puff able to find the good trade, but Luigi's living. Ooh, she just barely finds that back air right over Luigi's back air of his own. But Raffle's able to survive, stalling with his um, tornado. Puff's able to get another grab, and that's going to take the stock. Raffle continues to look for these uh, fireballs in order to keep Jigglypuff more grounded, keep her uh, out of that really threatening height. Uh, we'll see if that is something that Didi's able to find his way around or if that's going to continue being a problem for him. Ooh. Didi able to find a fair, but Raffles jumps back on stage, gets the up smash, just barely not enough. Didi just got enough DI on that in order to survive. Raffle continues to look for these uh, double aerials uh, with the short hop. Uh, unfortunately, what Didi's choosing to do is uh, just roll after the first aerial. And since Luigi has such bad float speed, there's really just not that much he can do to punish it. Um, so even though Jigglypuff doesn't have the longest roll, she just rolls out and gets reset neutral. And what could have been like really strong shield pressure or a good bait in other scenarios just doesn't really do that much. Luigi gets a down smash, not able to follow it up. Didi doing a good job of, you know, trading hits and getting hit by stray attacks here and there, but not letting Luigi get any big combos or uh, do any serious damage when he's at high percent and she's at low. Um, at the same time, Raffle doing a, a pretty good job of extending this stock, uh, not looking to let uh, Didi take him out with just a stray hit, uh, trying to play super safe. Didi's able to get the up air. 
She's got... Ooh. Uh, he gets another back air. Luigi's able to misfire in order to make it back. That's how you know he's a Luigi main. Oh. Puff gets the back air. That's going to do it. Uh, so Didi, again, able to kind of tank that stock. He uh, plays very safely, takes his time to find that... Uh, that kill without taking too much damage and so he's only down 31% when the stock starts and after a couple straight hits he's actually in the lead and he finds a rest with a star KO that's a huge turn in this game now down two stocks to one Ruff Ruffle's gonna have to make a humongous comeback uh, whereas before they were just perfectly even let's see what he can find Ooh. Luigi gets the grab, goes for the down throw, but isn't able to follow up with the down air that he was looking for. The b very end of that uh, pound hitbox, able to catch Luigi and put him in a bad situation. Raffles able to get out, not taking too much damage, but at this point he's a full stock behind. Can he find a way back, or is this going to be it? Another misfire. It edge cancels, but Puff's able to find another back air. And another back air, and that's going to do it. Good stuff to Didi. Uh, Raffle going to be sent down to losers.